open google com and type download visual svn server in google com and we can see in the first link for downloading visual svn server when you click on that we can see visual svn server 5.2 is the latest version click on that and the download will get started once the download is completed we can go to the downloads folder so first of all install visual svn server then we can install visual svn client so it is completed now we can go to the downloads folder and we can just double click on it the visual svn server double click on it and we can click on next accept the agreement click on the checkbox and click on next these things we can keep like that and here we can see we are adding subversion to the environment variable the path click on next and these are the location repository the port number it is 443 and these yeah okay click on next and we don't want to enable this because we need to give license and all so we don't want to enable anything we can keep these things as us like that itself click on next and yep the use subversion authentication yeah we can go with that we should spn server will authenticate users yeah click on next and click on install so the installation will get started and as i said we are now downloading visual svn server we need to download visual svn client after this so once the download is completed let's see it's almost getting completed now and yes now we don't want to start right now we can uncheck this box and click on finish and now let's go to my computer and c folder let's go to the c folder and let's go to program files now we can see here our visual svn server double click on it then we can go inside the bin folder now when we come down we can see the svn application is there then again when we come down let's see visual svn server double click on it open that and here it is our visual svn server here we can see the repositories users group and jobs as of now we haven't created any repositories we need to recreate repository and how to manage the repositories all those things i will be showing in the coming videos so that's it we have successfully installed visual svn server